Hey, this is Eric Davis. I wanted to show you a knockout JS application I made today. Um, it's the to-do list application. Um, you can see right here on the browser there's three different to-do items, and this is reflected in the code. It's just you know hard-coded for now. Um, also in knockout JS, it's tied to right here. It says three items left, and then there's a counter for the number completed. So in the form here, we'll add another, and then as soon as you submit it, it gets added up here, and it also shows up right here. It's pretty neat because how uh, Knockout does their bindings. If you do it right, you change data in one area and it gets populated all throughout everywhere else you need to use it. Um, so I don't have the form clear in here, but you can see each time you do it, it keeps adding to there. And then it's in the JavaScript, it's just this to-dos property. And then I didn't get a time to finish it, but you can also do a delete and uh, mark stuff as completed. So all in all, after going through the tutorial, I think it took me like 14 or 15 minutes to build all of this application right here. Um, just using a little little bit of HTML right here, mostly just the, what is the data bind. Um, that actually connects it to Knockout and the rest of it is just, you know, HTML5 boilerplate, nothing fancy. So it's pretty neat. Um, I like the for each loop right here. That's how it kind of iterates over all the to-do items and then, you know, makes the LIs for them. So it's pretty neat. And that's Knockout.js. Um, really simple. I might use it on a couple of projects, but not really sure yet. All right. Take care.